Hi, this is Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit. In today's episode, we're going to build a mini magic mirror. This is the final product right here. It's a little, you can see, I mean, it's by the size of my hand, it's a little magic mirror. It's got the time and date on it right now. And what it does is it scrolls through different screens. There's quite a few plugins available with this system. This uses the Magic Mirror 2 software. You can add things like traffic, uh, moon phases, horoscopes, jokes, anime, GIFs. I've done time, weather, and stocks. I designed this for my wife. So what the back looks like. The entire thing is self-contained. This is a 3D printed pyramid. There's a single USB cable coming off the back for power. This is based on Node's design off of YouTube. You can check out his channel. I'll link to it below. And let's get to the how we build this and how do we configure it. Here's the build portion. I've got two 3D printed parts that I'll link to off of Thingiverse when I get them uploaded. And a micro USB cable. This is for power. It's a $10 Raspberry Pi Zero. I've added a heat sink. You're going to want a, at least an 8 gig micro SD card for it to hold the OS. This is a company called Kumon makes these screens. This is a 3.5 inch screen. It's got a full size HDMI port on it. It comes with this little piece here, which basically takes the HDMI and wraps it around. This is what the company name looks like for that screen. K-U-M-A-N, Kumon. Got a lot of questions on that before. Okay, let's assemble. So we're going to do the micro or mini HDMI to full size HDMI off the Raspberry Pi Zero. We've already got our micro SD card with the image that I'll link to loaded on there. We're going to take the HDMI adapter that comes with the screen. The screen itself will plug on kind of like a backpack. Make sure that you don't have your headers on your Raspberry Pi Zero or that will not fit. So now you end up with the screen working around to the HDMI adapter to the Raspberry Pi Zero. Now I want to show a website real quick for power because we need to power the screen and we want to power it off the GPIOs on the Raspberry Pi. This is the pinout for the Raspberry Pi Zero, and you can see the first, second pins are both 5 volts, and the third pin is ground. So what we're going to do is pull 5 volts positive off the first pin, and then we'll pull ground off the third. We could pull off the second also, but it's just going to be too close to the ground, and we don't want any shorting. So first and third pin here. What we need to do is map that over to the Kumon screen on the back. It has the ability, it has a GPIO header itself that you can normally use. So we want to map the first and third pin here to the first and third pin here. So I'm going to put the red wire in the first pin for 5 volts. I'll put a black wire in the third pin to show me where my ground is. And I will solder these and clean them up later, but for now, just to show this portion, I'm just going to lock them in there and press fit them here. Now, the screen has a mini USB on the side, but that won't be available when we're trying to put it inside of this tight case. So, by doing these wires, it keeps everything nice and clean. It also means that we only need to run one power wire to the Raspberry Pi Zero here. And now our screen is powered and booting. That takes care of all of the compute portion of this. Now we just got to get it into this case. The second portion of this is mounting the screen into the pyramid. This piece of the pyramid has knobs on it. You want the screen to face the flat side. So it'll go through like this. Then on the back, you'll want to apply power. Just make sure that the screen boots up and all your wires are okay. Now, just take a rubber band 
And I tried to make this very simple and accessible. So run the rubber band around these pegs down here. And this will actually hold the screen onto the 3D printed part. And you can tighten this up as you feel necessary to hold down whatever wires or ports that you need. Then, all you gotta do is pull the cable through here. Place your screen just like that. You'll see the tabs here. Don't worry about orienting up yet. Just kind of get it pressed in. There you go. Now you're almost all the way home. One thing you'll want to do before putting the mirror on there is grab some black tape or something that's dark and just cut strips of it. You're going to want to place it along the top here. Let's see. You're going to want to place it along the top here like this. And the reason you're doing this is any cracks of light that get through is going to ruin the effect. Now I'm going to simply glue gun along here and place the mirror onto it. I'll glue with it all assembled. That way I know the mirror when it gets placed down will be placed exactly where I want it on here. That is it. Assembled and put together. There's our weather wind speed, humidity, sunrise. Single cable coming off the back. They make these cables in different colors and they make some that are animated so you can do some really cool effects or you can just get a black cable and make it very subtle.